colitis. I'm bored. We're all bored. Colitis, colitis. I'm bored. No, we're just kidding. This yeah. is another show. The Blake and Zeb talk show, 999th video right now. That's right. This is Blake's. Listen to this. Blake is 5 and 10 score years, and, and he's ten. posted this video will be 999. Do you know what that means? It means the next one's 1,000. And you know we got to do something special for that. Yes, we are. We're going to have gonna... a special 1,000th posting celebration, celebration talking about all the career of Blake. 1,000 videos. Can you imagine? Five years. What's, I mean, that's amazing. A thousand. To help us celebrate tonight, we're going to have some guests like William Shatner. We're going to have... And uh, um, um, Jeff Bridges. And uh, we're going to have uh, Eminem sing. Eminem. The What's music, the, the music, music. You, you never, never let it go. go. You, you only get, get one, one shot. shot. You get... You only get one shot. <laughs> the opportunity comes <laughs> once in a lifetime. lifetime. <laughs> no. All right. So you get the idea. Yes. Star studded. But we're actually only having the pictures the of pic- these celebrities not them yes. in person yes maybe some videos on youtube or something no we're just kidding uh it'll be just us just us. one thousand it'll be us and a bottle of bubbly yes non-alcoholic bubbly, bubbly. No. yes um you'll see it tonight but to start off we're going to talk about something that happened to me in 2013 around the halloween season Oh, yes. Well, let's first set up how this happened. Yes. So it was yeah, oct- October of 2013, and we decided... It was 2012 or 13, one of those years. And we decided to go to a haunted house, because we've never done... I've never done that before, and I haven't done it since. So I was having fun, you know, I was walking through the haunted house, getting scared, and then out of nowhere, <laughs> a chainsaw guy came out, a guy with a running chainsaw, I assume it was a toy, he came out with it on revving it on, and it scared the crap out of me. Tell, tell them how I jumped. You're always good at telling okay, them well how, first, I, how uh, I jumped. I'll, I need a, uh, a character over there, uh, you, Bimmy or somebody. Oh, okay. uh, what was he? Oh, yeah, there he's he is. over there. there he is. All right, so first of all, and yes, we name our dogs. I'm going to set this whole thing up. The line was like two hours long, and somehow oh. we made it through. Because being with Blake is just entertaining no matter yeah, what yeah. you're doing. Someone said, like, would you be paid? In a room of 100 people in a line, how pay- how many how many people would you be more patient than? And my answer is nine. Uh, no, none. None. <laughs> but with Blake, I would be patient. Now, here, Blake's this joy in the scenery not really knowing what he's getting into walk waiting in this line we finally get to the front and the woman takes a look at him and she just goes like this before she sells him the ticket she did that yeah you didn't know that story <laughs> she just thought we were crazy to take yeah, to you take into a haunted house yeah but we're like he had seen horror films he knew about makeup effects he had seen makeup books he knew who tom savini was oh, yeah. a makeup bar so we thought it would be fun you know obviously but but then inside the haunted house everything's cool blake's looking at everything the scenery and then like this chainsaw guy comes out and i literally saw blake like the chainsaw guys to the left yeah here, like right? right right over there yeah. and blake literally like teleported two feet i never seen like a person <laughs> move sideways without i mean it was the most incredible thing i've ever seen he was like boop. It was like boop. like one second you saw me there and the next second he was like, over the- boop. anyway and then and he was like and then this guy had a chainsaw without a chain on it so it was a real chainsaw okay. not a toy but it had oh. no chain on it so it couldn't hurt anyone yeah but it was so loud it was like Bruh! that was loud and then after that, Blake uh, had a little accident. Now, this is what people would think is child abuse. Which Blake is not. lost control of his uh, bladder. Yes. Because of that incident. He was probably like, pee! <laughs> pee! <laughs> and then I said a very famous line from a movie. Oh, yeah, he goes... I peed my pants. Now, you have to do it because you're I the peed, one that said it. I peed my pants. That's from a very famous movie, and if you can guess that movie, comment it down below, and I'll give you a shout out. I peed my pants. I peed my pants. But now, we just saw a movie tonight where a, guy, a grown man did that, and Blake asked me if that ever <laughs> happened to me, and I said no, and it hasn't even happened in a dream. No. Some people could, uh, not to make light of this, but they dream, little kids actually dream they're at a bathroom. Uh, and they pee their bed or whatever, you yeah. know, because they are dreaming it. 
So you have to say, yeah. I am in a dream. I'm in a dream, yeah. But <laughs> it should have probably wouldn't and, happen. And we met a few nice guys out there. Before we got into the haunted house, there was a guy walking around scaring people as he walked by. And yeah. he came up to me and he gave me like a high five instead of scaring Instead me. of scaring instead Blake, of, he gave him a yeah, handshake. Yeah, he gave me a handshake, that's right. But I was protecting Blake after that. I mean, yeah. I was looking out for him because there was a guy sneaking up behind him to scare him again. And I was like, no, no, don't do it. I, I think I said it meaner than that. I was yeah. like, no, don't do it. I, I was very serious. And he, like, backed away. He's like, all right. <laughs> I think he told me that that night. Yeah, he was like a kid. He was like, all right. But this this haunted house, for the record, is great. It's That's in amazing. South Park. And it's... Uh, uh, fantastic, a, a fantastic haunted house. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's like top of the line scares. It is. And remember when we left, that guy opened up like a door, like a tiny little door, trap door, and he said, "I'll be in your car." Oh yes. Yeah, I'll be said, waiting I'll be in, in your, your car. I'll be waiting in your car. That was scary. I worked. See, it's funny because Leatherface, uh, the guy with the chainsaw, is the one that scared him. I worked an entire Halloween season years ago as Leatherface in a haunted house. <laughs> So I put on the whole getup. I had a yeah. butcher uh, apron, a ma- leather face mask. Uh, they wouldn't let me have a chainsaw inside because of the ventilation. It would, like the gas fumes would kill people. So. <laughs> they would like pass out. Yeah, or me. I might have passed yeah. out. But, but they gave me a like a cleaver. So I had this uh-huh. cle- And it's like the second time I've been leather face in a haunted house. Because in California, I was leather face. And this little girl was terrified of me. Because I had, like, uh. raw liver. I really had, like, raw liver <laughs> in that, my head. Is that real liver? Yeah, it was real liver. Uh. And I was, like, it was like a cow liver. I was like, I'm going to cut you up and eat you. Feed your scraps to my dog. And this girl's like, Meh. And I was like, no, I'm I'm a fake person. I'm a, I'm a person. I'm just an actor. Don't be scared of me. And then she cheered up. And I, was, and I shook her hand. And I was like, no, don't be scared of me. It's all fun. It's all fun. And then she probably that night is like, liver. <laughs> liver. She probably had a fear of liver for the rest of her life. Yeah, that was crazy. Now, now we're getting into another holiday, Easter. <laughs> Easter. Wait, but what if we were just talking and like we're just talking about something and then you see like. Do, 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 do. I gotta do it this way. <laughs> that would be funny. But anyway, you might notice a little something weird about this. First of all, you might notice that there's something in his little basket what there. What was in there originally? Like jelly beans and they popped? Jelly beans or some sort of hard candy. Yeah. It was something. And then you see his eye. His eye is missing. It's like scratched out. Yeah, I mean, we don't know how that happened. We don't know. Water got on him or we're something. Like, we're like playing with him and something like that. That is like a painted on. Like someone had to paint, hand paint this whole yeah. thing. Like, I can't believe they're only paying me five cents an hour. I gotta get to America. And if they mess up, they're just yeah. like fired. This is a great because it, it makes like a it looks it looks left and right. Yeah, oh, whenever, which way do I go? Whenever, which way do I go? It is great to watch. Yeah. But that's a, a holiday of Easter folks. Easter basket. Tell me what kind of Easter basket you're gonna get this year. Bus and snack Easter basket. Now if you saw my video I did on Christmas Eve, uh, go check that out. I reviewed some bus and snacks and I'm gonna get an Easter basket full of some bus and snacks. And what they are are like snacks from around from the world. So Japan. like the strange uh, yeah. potato chips, from like Japan. beer flavor. Beer flavored chips from China, Japan. Oh, the crawfish. What were they called? Crawfish chips. Crawfish, crawfish chips crawfish were chip. delicious. Yes. Zep loves them. So yeah. do I. They're really good. So there's all kind of weird products. They have uh, Asian uh, uh, writing yeah. on it, like the, the language of the uh, Chinese. So you, or... can't, so you can't read what's in it. Unless if you're that language. Yeah, that's true, so, that's true. And they came from all around the world, uh, Jap- Japan, a, uh, what China. What was the drink that was like $12 a bottle? $15. $15 for a bottle of soda. It was, it was some soda. Fanta. Some Fanta. Fanta, and it was a strange flavor. Uh, Jasmine Peach. Jasmine Peach. Peach Fanta. $15. Why did I buy that? I don't know. I mean, they say Mexican Coke is made with, like, pure cane sugar. Ooh. You think all sodas are made with sugar. I think they're made with high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. But, I mean, like, to get sodas made with sugar is at least sort of natural. And you, Mexican Coke supposedly is made with, like, the yeah, pure sugar. the pure, the pureness of the I don't sugar. I you can order that, though. But no. it's, it's usually in stores, oh. yeah. Yeah. Now... We are going to talk about some video games I'm playing right now. So, so far I'm playing, currently playing right now, like playing every day, 
Red Dead Redemption, the original PS3 version. And that should version. be uh, backwards. So backwards. once again, look in a mirror. Look in a mirror. Hold our phone hold up a, to a mirror. Hold your phone up to tablet, a mirror. Or tablet, laptop, whatever. Uh, it's in reverse. It says Red Dead Redemption PS3. We got, obviously, the Evil Within for Xbox One. And San Andreas, Andreas. Andreas. Grand, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I did play it last year, but I'm playing it again this year. These games are good. These games are good. Buy them. Now, is Red Dead Redemption... For mature on, audiences For mature, only. yes. But the game I would recommend... Is <laughs> all, all, three of, all three of, those, of them. All yeah. three of those are mature audiences yeah. only, though. Not, yeah. not the, there's, sorry, there's no Winnie the Pooh no, and Tigger there's 2 There's no SpongeBob games. Yeah. games. Yeah. SpongeBob and Spyro and Crash. Crash will, will cause you to have a nervous breakdown we at the to, age of nine. Yeah, because me and Zep play a lot of games. Let's just say that. And we have rarely quit a video game oh rarely quit a video game and the one the few games that we have quit was crash bandicoot insane trilogy i gave up on part two yeah me too two Two. crash bandicoot i mean i finished all three of those games 100 percent when i was younger but i did not have the patience for it it was driving me mad because on part that's just kidding. Spyro. Part three of the Insane Trilogy, I cannot get past that one racing level. That one racing level, they they fixed they fixed something on that racing level when they redid it. Because I could beat it easily on the old old PS1 version, but on the remake, it's impossible. Yeah, they made it's some impo- they, they, they did something. Remake. I beat yeah, part Spyro one. Spyro is a kid's game. It's fun. Yeah. But SpongeBob is great. I mean... If you yeah. like Spongebob, you'll love this Go check game. out our series we did on that about a year That's ago. That's true. And we did an actual episode on Christmas Eve where it sh- the clock struck midnight and it was Christmas yes. Day. We actually caught it on camera. That's uh, right. Go check. I don't remember what episode it is. <laughs> but true. um, let's go through all of our videos. But, you know, to get to the thousand episode, the thousandth posted video, uh, just to give you a little hint, we'll, Blake, Blake will talk about like his early days. Yes. And, the all, next phase. The next the, phase of Some my of channel. the names of his channel. All the all the different. I couldn't decide on what to do, but I think now I've decided what my go to content is. And actually, is. if you're someone watching this video, and you have been with Blake since the beginning, yes, you thank you five years ago. Thank put you. a comment down and say, I was there for the first video you there, posted. I was there for the I was there yeah. for the next. I remember your days of going to a Chinese buffet and pointing the camera at you and <laughs> eating for an hour straight and me watching you eat food for an hour straight. Well, I'm getting hungry over here. <laughs> <clears throat> and we had to all be quiet at the table because Blake was yeah. recording himself eating for the channel. So imagine going out to eat and not being and, able to talk amongst, you, amongst yourselves. Like, you'd be like... Is he paused? Like, I remember you would wave over to me, mouthing to me, or you paused, and I'd be like, no. Or like, yes. <laughs> and then as soon as I paused, you guys just started talking. But, but then, oh, just yeah. to interrupt one second, you, you, would, you would just sit and eat. Oh, yeah. but, but then, like, Blake started advancing. He would go up to the buffet and, like, take a tour of all the foods. I yeah. said, show the people what foods yeah, are available at the buffet. Yeah. I think the, I mean, we got to search through your history and see if you have a golden corral. We did. Where you're eating just cotton candy with a knife and fork. Okay. Let's tell that story real quick. Okay. I would always go to Golden Corral, but let me just say, the last time I went to Golden Corral, which was, like, a month ago, the food was awful yeah that day wasn't right man. it wasn't Something right wasn't right about it the food was awful but any other time i went there was good but any other time that i would go there before that i would eat cotton candy with a knife and fork ice cream and gummy bears which you called villagers, villagers. based on resident evil 4. Yeah, one of my favorite games top five um and i remember that was the only thing i would eat too and all these kids would be looking at me with that, that with that jealous look, with that jealous look in their eye. I mean, all their parents had them eat broccoli, turkey, and stuffing. I mean, I can imagine the parents like, "You're gonna eat those vegetables," but and hey, they're like, but, "Yeah, hey, hey, he's over there eating gummy bears and ice cream and cotton candy." Hey, look at that kid eating cotton candy with a knife and fork. That kid's gonna be a failure. You don't want to be. That kid's gonna go. Be We've weak. had several restaurant incidents, which would probably be a show on itself. But yeah. I will just say very quickly that kids would look over at Blake that, and he would eat cotton candy with a knife and fork exclusively until it was time for the ice yeah. cream and the gummy bears. <laughs> but but the other kids, like I said, had to eat vegetables 
<clears throat> but we used to, I used to entertain him like crazy at Golden Corral, oh, yeah. like doing funny stuff, and he would stand most of the meal. And we didn't know someone, someone that was eating there that night, uh, had watched us, must have watched us the entire time. Yeah. So he comes up to us when we're done and, eating. Yeah, when we're done eating, he's like, "Thank you guys." I'm like, "What? What do, what do you mean?" He's like, "You guys are the most entertaining guys I've seen in a long time." <laughs> and we're like, "What the heck, man?" Blake couldn't believe it. I Remember couldn't believe it. Remember some guy came up to you and thought you were like some celebrity? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I am a celebrity. Well, you are, technically. I've been on TV. I've been in movies. Yes. I've been on and, uh, our Blake and Zep show at the time. Might have been on YouTube. Yeah. I'm like, Blake, yeah. he recognizes us from yeah. YouTube. But it, but it was pretty cool. It know? was cool. But, but other incidents yeah. at restaurants, just very quickly. When the, Blake was I very recorded. young. I'm going to just run oh. through this really quickly. Okay. When Blake was very young, we were at a breakfast place on a Sunday. A guy that was either going to church afterward or was coming from church. He's oh. all dressed up, very nice In slacks, nice, beige. Yeah. And Blake is opening a creamer because he used to go to a restaurant and eat and drink all the creamers at the it's table. It's supposed to be going coffee. Yeah, so he he was opening up a creamer and he went like, <laughs> and it went all over this guy's groin as he was walking past the table. And he was an older guy, but his pants had like just stains. Like and he, <laughs> we're like, oh, my my mother and everyone were like, oh, we're so oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I laughed out loud because it was the funniest thing I ever heard. Didn't about. he look at you? Yeah, I yeah, was laughing. Looked- and, and everyone was mad at me for laughing, but I couldn't help. So this guy was like, he didn't say a word. You know, like one of those people you apologize to and they but, don't say a word. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. And they just go like this. <laughs> I stepped on a guy's foot at a Steeler game once. I stepped, I, my whole entire, I had nowhere to go. If I wouldn't have put my whole entire weight on his foot, I would have fallen off the balcony of a stadium. But so anyway, I, I put my entire weight on his foot cause I, to save my life. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I did that. And he was just like this. <laughs> I mean, if he could have killed, if he had telekinetic powers, I would have instantly burst like into scanner, flames. Like scanner powers. Yeah, I would have burst into scanner flames powers. and my head would have exploded. Yeah. He was so mad. But he was a smaller guy. And I was like this. Hey, I said sorry if that's not good enough for you. I mean, I was threatened. I was like, yeah. I said so. Hey, I said sorry if that's not good enough for you. Once you change into that voice, if you're big, yeah, believe me, people people change their tune real quick. Nowadays, you would laugh at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would. The other restaurant story was like we went into a restaurant, Kings. It's called Kings. And there was an older couple that probably, like, were looking forward to that all week. Oh, I'm so oh. looking forward to this our This is going to be such a good food. Yeah, this is going to be so good. We enjoy ourselves at King's. So we sit next to them at another table. And Blake's instantly like, wah, 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 wah. He's like a little kid, like two. <laughs> oh, like two, three, He's yeah. making all these noises. And the older couple just get up and move, like, <laughs> all the way across the restaurant to another table. And yeah. we, we went like this. You know what? We should move right next to them again. <laughs> but Blake used to do like noises as soon as he would sit down. We were at a funeral wake one time. It was yeah. after the funeral. We went to a restaurant. And, and and my cousin sat down next to me. And he's an older guy. And and, and Blake was like, <laughs> and I saw his face. He was like, oh, no. Am I going to have to do, eat my meal with this That's, noise? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't remember the noise you used to do. I loved it. I, yeah, it was funny. I had the most, I never got impatient with this but, young boy. Yes. He's now grown into a long-haired freak. No, this is, <laughs> Nine him. days and I'm going to get this cut. I, I don't care either way. I accept you. Yes, thank you for the, I'm toning into that guy, Luke. Yeah, I'm Luke, toning into Luke. Luke, Luke Skywalker. No, Luke, uh, Luke, Luke, Luke no. did that. The guy with the long hair that's the uh, that hates his father, uh, Carlo guy? Ren or Ren. Oh, Kylo Ren. Kylo, Carlo, I'm trying, I'm trying, Carlo, the Italian. Bird. Carlo, I'm turning into Ky- Carlo Ren. Yeah, Kylo, Kylo Ren. Ren. He had long hair, and he was he's he a did. dysfunctional family member. Didn't realize what a hero his father yeah. was. And then he just impaled him. Spoiler alert: yeah. he impaled his father with a lightsaber. But um. But he comes back yeah. as a zombie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine zombies in Star Wars? Luke, trust the force. Oh, zombies wouldn't have a chance against lightsabers. Oh, no. Be like, thank God for lightsabers. <laughs> Just like cut them up. I mean, it's easy. But and why hasn't someone invented a lightsaber? Someone out there, get off your butt and invent a lightsaber. And sell it for like what a. What are you waiting? Sell for? it for a million dollars a pop. It'd be the ultimate self-defense tool. Bezos. Do you know how many accidents and... there would be with lightsabers? Like. 
accident today at a local grocery store when a man took out his lightsaber for a woman who cut in front of him in line. <laughs> but like you're playing with it at home, and yeah. then you press a button accidentally, it goes on and impales your, like, friend. Pets would just run. As soon as you turn on a light, <laughs> pets would just be like... <laughs> <laughs> like a dog or a cat would just run and maybe they, they maybe they would be entertained by it oh i know what you're getting <laughs> ah yes please don't knock over them boxes there's only a hundred there's only a hundred boxes over there trust the force Luke. trust wait turn that off please trust the force no so someone would be like, hey Blake, what do you have to... <laughs> <laughs> you know, their fingers are just gone. But I actually showed this on video. Um, like I said, if you want to get one, go on Amazon. 300 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the noises it makes. Wait, look. I love this thing. This thing is so durable, too. That's karate. Imagine you karate chop a lightsaber. I kill you. <laughs> Sorry, man. Wait, wait. Dead by dead. dawn. I'll be dead by dawn. I'll Who be had dead. This, uh, lights oh, that was Ren's. That was lights Kylo Ren. Well, you yeah. got the hair. You gotta just get the I black peak pajamas. I am turning into Kylo Ren. If I grow my hair for like another six months, and I get a black cloak or whatever robe. I am Kylo Ren. I am Kylo Ren. And I'm your best buddy. Yes, you're, you're the <laughs> I right... I don't want to get killed. No, you're the right-hand man. Thank you. Look at that stormtrooper who turns on the on uh, on the on the on the dark side. That that traitor. That guy. He was one of the main characters. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that What's traitor. that little thing that came up? Oh, with? it's a pop up. Oh, okay. I did turn on airplane mode so I don't get interrupted, but apparently game notifications are still a thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But like tonight, we'll see you for a thousand yes. episode posting. So we're at twenty two minutes now. I should keep this on for light. Thank we, you. Yeah, we do need it. Thank you guys. So let's have it in the middle of us. Yes. Thank you guys so Split much. Screen. Split screen. Split screen, yeah. The, I, I, so I'm talking to you on the phone like, Hello, Blake, I, how are you? This is, yeah. a, this is like a Brady Bunch episode where yeah. they had the split screen. Hi, Marsha. How are you? Is, is that, your, uh, your brother still making a volcano? Is he going to explode on us and get mud all over us? And watch out when they watch out when your brothers throw a football around, Marsha. Don't hit me in the nose. Yeah. Didn't they go to Hawaii or something? What? What? Where did oh, they go? Oh, Hawaii, Hawaii. Three part. I miss school to watch the Brady Bunch Hawaii. It was like on, and I was like, I'm gonna have to miss three days of school this week to watch that. Did you do it? I did. I How somehow, did you get away I with faked, it? I faked my self that I was sick for three straight days to my mother. Wow. She's like, well, you can't be sick. It's you're still sick. You look fine at night when you're eating, like, massive amounts of food at the dinner table, and you're telling me you're sick. Next morning, I don't feel good. My and head. then finally I admitted to her what was going on. I what said, did she do? I said, she goes, that's ridiculous to miss school for Brady Bunch. I'm like, Ma, this is before VCRs, DVD. There's no way to watch this. Yeah. I didn't know when it was going to air again. I was like, Ma, I got to, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm on part two. I can't miss it now. <laughs> did she let you stay home? I did. I stayed home wow. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's and I went amazing. back to school and everyone's like, Jeff, we were so worried about you. What was wrong? <laughs> I was watching Brady Bunch. I missed some other time. Once my, my woodshop teacher goes, what were you doing? Were you all right? Were you sick? I was like, I was just mourning the death of John Belushi. He's like, what? <laughs> you gonna believe I said that? Did he? Did he like have a sad, disappointed, or angry face? No, he he laughed. He, he, la he I mean, laugh. honest to God, he loved me like a son. After I said, he, he thought oh. that was the fun. He goes, "Were you sick?" I was like, "No, I was just mourning the death of John Belushi." Well, at least and you're he honest. He just laughed. At least you're honest. And he laughed, and he was the greatest teacher. But if you swore in his class, he'd make you cut steel with a hacksaw. <laughs> So, so you'd be like, uh, 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 uh. So reminds me of some other noise, uh, uh, like <laughs> our neighbor who just sits on his rocking chair. Uh, uh, uh. I did a video on him a year ago. Check that out. Yes. I keep shouting on my videos. All right, we're done. Uh, I didn't mean to talk so much, uh, but those, I those are good. But I, I do like talking. Yes. I do like talking. This is the Blake and Zep talk show. It will be talk.
and I like it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you so much to getting me to 1,000 videos. I almost said subscribers, but thank you. Uh, stay tuned for a celebra celebrate video tonight for a 1,000th video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, comment, like, and subscribe. We love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace. Peace sells. But who's buying?